How's it going, everybody? My name is Josh from the Killing Earth Library, and today we'll be reading A Luna Moth's Life, written and illustrated by John Hillman. Just a reminder, if you enjoy the content being put out by the library, you can check out our library website, link in the video description, or check out our library Facebook page. A Luna Moth's Life, written and illustrated by John Hillman. One night, late in spring, a luna moth lays her eggs on a leaf. A week later, the luna larvae, or caterpillars, begin to hatch. Each caterpillar goes off on its own in search of food. As time grows by, the luna caterpillar changes and grows. Luckily, a hunting hornet does not see her. In early summer, the larva begins to change. The luna wraps herself in a leaf and glues it closed with silk. Autumn leaves cover the cocoon. It is hard to find, even for a flicker. The Luna pupa spends winter wrapped in her cocoon. On a late spring morning, the cocoon begins to move. Out crawls an adult Luna moth. She climbs up a branch to dry out her wings. Her wings slowly unfold in the breeze. By the evening, the luna moth is ready to fly. A bright light attracts her. She flies through an open window. She rests on a wall. The luna moth senses danger, so it flies the wrong way. But there is no real danger. A child sets her free. The luna moth cruises through the night sky. She lands on a tree and sends out a silent call. A male picks up her signal with his feathery antennae. After they mate, the luna lays her eggs under the midnight moon. Then she hides among the leaves until the next night. But a gust of wind blows her from the tree. A blue jay snaps at her, but only gets a piece of wing. The luna moth has plenty of wing to spare. When the night returns, she flies and flies under the moon. The luna moth is common in forested areas throughout eastern United States and southeastern Canada. In the north, the caterpillars eat the leaves of white birch trees. In the south, they feed on walnut and hickory leaves. The adult luna moth comes out of its cocoon in late spring or early summer in the north. In the south, the moth can come out at any time of the year. As a result, up to three generations of lunas can live in one year. Adults die within a week of mating. They do not have working mouth parts, so they cannot eat or drink. The name Luna means moon in Latin. The moth was named after the moon because it is active only at night. The Luna caterpillar and pupa are active during the day. Luna moths are often attracted to bright lights. Be sure to look for them around outdoor lights in summer evenings. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.